Hey guys, this is Nikki here uh, with uh, Techies Eddie, and today I'm showing off um, this USB Type C. It's a tool-free enclosure for M2 PCI Express NVMe drives as well as SATA S SSD drives. Um, the reason why I thought this is pretty cool is because if you ever bought one of something like this to, um, you know, make it external, then you know that typically it's only for one type or the other. Either it's an M2 PCI Express NVMe or SATA only. This one does both, which is very interesting to me because, uh, and it's completely toolless which means I can use this to quickly pop drives in, in and out really quick. Whereas this one, as you can see, requires a tool. Uh, it still requires a screwdriver to pull out and this kind of slides out too. So, so I already have one of these, but I thought this was kind of cool um, because just because of that difference right there. Um, and those are the NVMe drives. Um, and you guys probably seen this before. This is like your typical SSD drive where it's a two and a half inch um, that uses SATA. Um, these are gonna be slower than these guys right here. And you know, yeah, they make SSD drives that are shaped like this. So they are just, you know, you know, they, they, there's the same speed as, as um, SATA drives. Uh, this is going to be a one hand unboxing, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to pull this out as best I could with just one hand. Um, it comes with a manual, quick installation guide. Comes with a short little USB C cable. And this is USB C, just like the other one. Uh, it is, if I, let's see what it says here. I believe it's a Gen 2. Um, USB 3.2 Gen 2, which should give us 10 gigabits per second. Um, doesn't actually say on here, but that's what it says on um, on Amazon. So, well, we'll have to check that out. I don't know if it lists the specs here. Um, but yeah. Basically, it's just this. You push a button, it pops up. You slide it in. It doesn't even require a screw. That little uh, thing that holds it down is, you know, moves back and forth just to push it in place. And of course, it just acts like any other disc. So in Windows, you use Disk Manager to, you know, partition and format. So here's the cable. Here's an extra little thing, I guess. Yeah, let me see if I can show it to you on the white background. And that's what holds the disc in place. Don't need that. And here's the drive itself. There's a USB port. It even says 10 to let you remind yourself that it is a the highest speed USB-C port right now, which is um, USB 3.2 Gen 2, Generation 2. It's from Sabrent. They also make USB or SSD drives and VME drives. Oops. So I'm going to have to open this up. So it has a thermal pad here, but this is just the, you know, you gotta peel that off first and the actual thermal pad is over there. And it's, ooh, this one's a little ripped. Uh, oh well. You can always replace these. And it's really that simple. And there it is, the little tab there. And installing, and I'm not gonna peel that off just yet, but installing basically, involves putting this drive right here. It's a gum stick like drive in at angle. Stick it all the way in 
and then you fold it down. Now this pops up a little bit here. So you can fold this down. Uh, uh. Oh, come on, it's hard to do when there is a, when I have one hand. Well, yeah, it is going to be hard to do. Once this is in, this one just basically moves back a little bit and it kind of clips into this little spot so it stays in place. So let me try that right now. And there you go. I just had to pause it, uh, the recording for a bit to do that. But this one basically pulls back. You need to pull, push that down and then move it back forward and it stays in place. And of course you would have to remove that eventually. And then you just basically close this up. Just like that. Easy as pie. And then you just plug this in to a PC and it'll just access it like an external drive. And and here's the thing though, I don't I guess like for temporary use you, you can just do what I did without peeling it off. Um, cuz you can use it without overheating as long as you don't do use it for long. Uh, if you need to temporarily pull data out or write some data really quick and then pull it back out or to image a machine, uh, image a, you know, SSD or something, make an image of it to back it up, then this is great for that. Now, if you are looking to make it a more permanent thing, like um, you want this, you're not, you're not going to pull this out um, for just swapping drives or anything you just you just kind of want it to stay as a gum stick like this forever <laughs> or maybe you'll upgrade it like every so often then yeah go ahead and peel that um thermal thing off that thermal pad off that little um <sighs> cover <laughs> and um use it as is now I'm not, it's not to say that you, you know, you can't replace it, uh, the thermal pad. So um, if you do use this semi-permanently uh, and you do change it every so often, uh, it's not the end of the world. You can always replace, oops, you can always replace that. So just make sure it's the right size and thickness. And that is all, guys. Sorry for the quick video. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been at home and every so often when I get at home and I have a quick idea, I decide to just film it. So I just got this and I was like, hmm, it's a cool little tool. Another cool little tool that I like to show off one day when I have some time is, uh, it's a software, it's called Ventoy. I've been wanting to film that for a long time and probably by now a lot of people covered it. <laughs> but it's a uh, free, or it's op free and open source software that uh, lets you basically put ISO, you know, it formats a USB drive, flash drive or whatever, or external drive, and it lets you copy ISO files uh, onto it. And I think even certain virtual hard drive images too. And you can boot into it. You know, so you don't have to burn CDs anymore. You don't have to dedicate a single SS, you know, like a flash drive for like one distro of Windows or one distro of Linux. Uh, instead, you can have like a terabyte drive like this and throw all of your ISOs in here. And when you boot up Ventoy, it actually gives you a menu of all the ISOs that you can choose um, to boot from, which is really neat. It kind of reminds me of this hard drive that I, I own that um, that does that. Uh, you put your ISOs in a specific folder and there's a little display on top. It's like this external uh, hard drive and there's a little display on top. And there's some controls that you can like move the, you know, cursor or something and point to the, you know, point to the ISO that you want to mount. And it acts like a virtual um, CD-ROM drive. Uh, that I can show off sometime too, but um, that was that predated this uh, Ventoy, um, and it was only by one company uh, 
think it was like Zalman's. Yeah, Zalman did that one. Um, I haven't met, seen any other, um, other anyone else make something like that. Now that's kind of cool too. So if you work on computers a lot and you, you know, go, you know, like install a lot of different OSs, uh, different version of Windows, different Linux uh, distributions, different um, bootable ISO tools, even sometimes when you have to f uh, flash firmware that requires you to boot into DOS or a special mode uh, or even their own special ISOs. This is the best way to do it, I think. So anyways, um, toodaloo guys. <laughs>